I want to talk a little bit about the NBA. We can include Major League Baseball, the NHL, really sports across the country, and what they're doing with these Black Lives Matter signs. I saw. I used to go to Fenway Park all the time. I saw a big Black Lives Matter sign outside of Fenway Park. Listen, I've, I've been very clear with my opinions on Black Lives Matter and the Black Lives Matter movement, which is I believe the majority of those people that are in the Black Lives Matter movement are good people. I think the majority of the people that have been protesting throughout the country are good people. They want equality. Does that mean that there are you know, not some crazies out there? Of course there are. There are some bad actors out there. There are some white supremacists out there. There are some people out there that are, you know, obviously they're looting, they're rioting, they're setting things on fire, they're mistreating police. No question. Are there some extremists out there? Absolutely. I would never suggest there wasn't. The proof is in the pudding. But when you look at the majority of these protesters, they're not bad people. They want equality. They've had enough. And they want law enforcement to treat people who are black and minorities with the respect that they deserve. So with that being said, these Black Lives Matter signs, you could see them at center court of NBA basketball games. You see the back of a basketball jersey. And they've got these names. You know, some say equality. You know, uh, all sorts of different messaging. We see Major League Baseball. We see Black Lives Matter, you know, in the dugout. We see Black Lives Matter, uh, you know, where the pitchers are, are throwing, throwing pitches. Uh, we see a lot of Major League Baseball players, the majority of them, taking a knee. We see it everywhere. It's happening everywhere. It's happening in sports all over. And my personal opinion is this. I think having Black Lives Matter signs everywhere is a little over the top, but I also think that kneeling, I don't see a problem with that so long as the owners don't have a problem with it, the ones that are writing your checks. I don't see any issue with that at all. And I think we have bigger fish to fry, and I think there are more important things in society than getting you know, your pantyhose in a bind when it comes to a Black Lives Matter sign. Now, LeBron James... In a post-game interview on yeah, Thursday, sorry, I, I haven't been. Here. Have you talked about Jonathan Isaac at all? Uh, no, but okay. uh, LeBron James. I don't know. I don't know who that is. Or Jonathan what Isaac that has to is, do is, with is what the only about. is the only player for the Orlando. He plays for the, he played for the Magic. He actually tore his ACL last night, but he's the only player in the NBA who stood for the national anthem. Okay, because he has he has strong religious beliefs and he thinks that BLM is a little over the top. Within two days of that taking place, his jersey sales are number two in the entire NBA right behind LeBron James. Jonathan Isaac averages about eight points a game. He's a third-year player. He's a good defensive player, but he's not exactly a fan favorite. Well, now he is. That shows you where America's head really is at with what's going on with Black Lives Matter and all these other social justice programs that are being integrated into sports. So because a player's jersey is selling, you think everybody's against Black Lives Matter? Yeah. Is that what your this, correlation no, is? No, this, this guy's jersey did not sell at all prior to this taking place. But within, within two days of him standing up for the national anthem and explaining himself very thoroughly as to why he did it, people are now buying his jersey. Okay, well, I wouldn't buy it. So there's, there's a correlation there. I wouldn't buy obviously, it. Obviously, I don't care. People, people are very supportive of him not being afraid. And he's African-American. He's a mm-hmm. seven-foot African-American, w- went to uh, Florida State. But, you know... People are saying, well, he, he is not afraid to stand up for what he believes in, and they are okay. you know, they're following him and supporting him and respecting him for that by purchasing his jersey, and he's number two right behind LeBron James. Okay, I, very, no, I, very interesting thing that that took place, and I don't um, know if you just, that's why I brought it up. Uh, I, I, I haven't seen that story. Um, obviously, he is in the minority. Uh, everyone in, in the NBA is kneeling during the national anthem. Uh, Uh, He, you know, everyone is is having the names on the back of their jerseys. There are Black Lives Matter signs everywhere. In fact, there are coaches, uh, just about all the coaches that have been on the record supporting what these players are doing. So he is in the minority, and uh, I I wouldn't say he's a hero for standing up during the national anthem. I wouldn't praise him for standing up during the national anthem. In fact, I would praise, I would do the opposite and praise players for doing what they think is right and 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 bringing attention to an issue. Now, that's not enough. I think they need to do more, and I think a lot of the players are doing more. Uh, but uh, LeBron James was asked about the kneeling and about the Black Lives Matter uh, phenomena, I guess you could say, that's going on. And uh, after the game on Thursday, he did praise Colin Kaepernick. Some people are giving him a little slack for that. Have a listen to this. Um, all we made Cap proud. All we continue to make Cap proud. Um, you know, every single day. Um, hope I, I hope I make him proud on, on how I live my life, not only, you know, out on the basketball floor, but off the floor. You know, I've been one to always speak about, speak out about things that I feel like that's unjust uh, or unjust. Or, and I always, you know, if I'm educated on things, I always, um, you know, go about it that way. Okay, so here's my problem with LeBron James. 
always speak out on things that are unjust. You only speak out on things that are unjust when it comes to African Americans. You didn't speak out when we had ant, uh, remarks of anti-Semitism. I didn't hear you speak out when it came to that. Listen, I right. believe nor, that nor I believe that about... LeBron. I believe that LeBron James' heart is in the right place. Sure. But I wish that he would speak out on other issues, not just. Uh, the Black Lives Matter movement. I don't well, have a problem, nor, nor did but... he speak out. Actually, he spoke out against those in Hong Kong protesting against China and what's happening in China right now. It's not just in Hong Kong, but there's there's a group of people called the called the Uyghurs that are being put in concentration camps. And there was a there was a a shipment of human hair found three weeks ago off a ship. Uh, it was 1.8 tons of human hair, street value eight hundred thousand dollars, that had been taken off of people that have been put into those concentration camps in China. And LeBron James, not even Adam Silver, no one is speaking out against the hor- the, hor- the horrific atrocities that are taking place to the Uyghurs in China. So it does make LeBron James look like a, like a major hypocrite so, under those circumstances. So here's what Charles Barkley had to say. These are Charles Barkley's thoughts on after every player, for the most part, except for maybe one or two, but after just about every player is taking a knee on, on opening night, at least for the NBA restart of the season. Here's what Charles Barkley had to say. And my thing is, listen, the National Anthem means different things to different people. Uh, I'm glad these guys are all unified. But if people, if people don't kneel, they're not a bad person. Uh, I want to make that perfectly clear. Uh, I'm glad they had unity. But if we have a guy who doesn't want to kneel because the anthem means something to him, he should not be vilified. I, I agree with Charles Barkley. Uh, I don't think anybody should be vilified. I think it should be a choice. Uh, if you want to take a knee, I think you should be allowed to take a knee. And if you don't want to take a knee, that's okay, too. Here's what I don't like. I don't like attacks on both sides of the aisle. I don't like, uh, you know, I, I've seen some ridiculous posts on social media going after some of these players for taking a knee, which I think is absolute idiocy at its finest. And I also think that if a player wants to stand up, he has the right to do so. And I don't think he should be vilified for that as well. You should be allowed to express yourself the way you want to. Let me open up the phone lines. Well, let me me, me just open up. Let me just give out the number and then go for it, J.D. Let me open up the phone lines. 702-257-5396 is the number to call. The question I ask is, do you think it's fair for anybody to be vilified, whether they're taking a knee or not. I would say both sides, you, you shouldn't be. What do you think out there? 702-257-5396. Again, that number, 257-5396 if you want to be a part of the discussion. But there's a difference between being vilified and losing fan support. And right now, the NBA has lost major fan support. The MLB has lost major fan support. Half the people that watch Tom Brady hit golf balls against against Tiger Woods watch the first day of the NBA opening day after four months of no sports whatsoever. No sports in America. NBA opening day, only 3.4 million people watched. It was the Clippers against the Lakers. That's LeBron James. That that's that's the crown yeah, but, jewel of the NBA. Okay, so I don't care so, how many. Well, I don't, no, that, that, I don't that, care that, how many people a, but, are watching. But that's a big deal, Brian. Because a lot of the, what the oh. issue right now that a lot of people have is that you have people that, that that died for this country, and then you have you know because because those people died for this country and they served in the military. And they're going through what they're going through with the pandemic, and then you have these NBA players who are making probably anywhere from anywhere from twenty to thirty times what the average what person makes to, in a year. What does that have to and, do with it? And these salary? these players have amazing lives. They they have all the money they're they need. They're not kneeling for themselves. No, they're kneeling no, for the, others. The, the point is, Brian. They people think that they are basically spoiled. Well, people and, are and, stupid, and they're very unappreciative well, of, 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 of those. Well, no. Well, when you said that the, that the they're American kneeling. flag. No, when you no, they're they're kneeling because they're saying the American flag. And Colin Kaepernick said this on they're not, on the fourth of July. Colin, has nothing Colin Kaepernick. To do with the Colin flag. Kaepernick. Yes, it does. It no, it doesn't. Well, you don't even understand why of they're course, kneeling, Brian. You they're don't understand why they're kneeling. No, you don't understand. No, you don't, Brian. It has nothing. No, you don't. You don't. Why don't you listen to the players instead of forming your own opinions? I'm listening to everybody, Brian. The, call call Kaepernick. Call Kaepernick. Name me one Kaepernick. player. Name me one you, you, player. Mentioned, you mentioned specifically, you, you don't call, want to listen you mentioned specifically you don't want LeBron James. Okay. LeBron Idiotic. James said that he wanted to make Cap proud. Right. Let, Kaep, me know, let me know when you're done. With Kaepernick your... on the oh no the right wing filibuster right Brian. So yes. anytime I have an opinion, it's a right wing filibuster. Let me know when you're done great, so Brian. I can respond. Fantastic. Let me know when I, you're I don't done. say what you say, even though I disagree with a lot of it. I'm I don't saying say it's a right. I don't say a left wing filibuster, Brian. I don't downplay everything you say. I'm saying what the players are saying. You don't want to listen to the players. You want to listen to the On the fourth of July, basically called the American flag. A symbol of white supremacy and oppression. That that's the issue. That's the message that the, that the American people are getting about right Colin now, Kaepernick. Brian. No, no. Why right. did LeBron James say making respond. Cap proud? That's okay. what he's talking about. Okay, so he's let me, talking about making Cap proud for for kneeling for the because what okay. they're doing is they're yep. saying that that okay. the American flag is 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 a symbol of of okay. what you know, of horrible things. Okay, they're idiotic. That, what you're saying is how is that how is that idiotic at all, Brian? There's nothing idiotic about that at all. So let me respond why why I think what you're saying is idiotic. 99%, in fact, I'll go with, yeah, 99% of the players, I'm talking Major League Baseball, uh-huh. NBA, 
all the players yeah. that have decided to take a knee have all said the same thing, which is this. This has nothing to do with insulting the men and women in uniform, and it has nothing to do with the American flag. What they're doing and what they've said, this isn't Brian Shapiro's opinion, okay? This isn't J.D. Sharp's opinion. This is the opinion of the players that are actually doing it. And I don't speak for them, and you don't speak for them. Here is what 99% of the players are saying. They are simply stating that we are doing this to raise awareness to the Black Lives Matter movement and to raise awareness of what police brutality is and wanting minorities to be treated as equals. They are not which, to, which hold on, I'm they not done are, yet. Which they I'm are not, statistically uh, on a okay, national uh, level, Brian. They're, 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 no, it's not idiotic. You don't understand it is, what you're is, talking about. It is reality. Uh, no. It is reality. The, what the stat? data the data what, says so that minorities specifically. Minorities are treated UC, the same. UCI.gov. Okay. Okay. Yep. I mean, the yep. FBI yep. stats say that exact thing, Brian. And the issue is that they can say what they want to say, but the American people who are the ones, if the American people does not watch these sports, if, if the ratings don't go up, then the advertisers don't spend the money. The reason that the salary cap is so high for all three of these sports is because people watch it on television. Okay. So Pe- you, people, uh, people spend money. People are are actively invested in these in these athletes participating in these sports, and that allows them to live these these very lavish lives. Okay, Brian. So f- but if all that goes away, everything else goes away with it. Okay. And so so what what really matters is the fan support and how the and how the people how how the fans how the citizens of the United States of America that aren't athletes are taking this and they're taking okay. it as disrespect so, of, of them disrespecting the American um, flag. Okay. That's how they're taking so, it. They, they can say what they want to say, and, and a lot of them are think, think that Black Lives Matter represents a lot of very negative things because of you know the Marxism comments and what's happened with looting and rioting right. and protesting, et cetera, so et cetera. Have, so we have a full set of phones That's fine. Uh, that are people that are waiting on hold, but again, you just said you, you were basically speaking for the players, and I just told you exactly what why the players are doing it, the, the words out of their own mouth. I'll take what they say and why they're doing it over what you no, say. And, I, and, and, I'm, let me just and finish. I'm speaking, I'm speaking finish, for the fans, for, for those for those that that okay. watch the if sports I just, I understand. and get involved in the finish. sports and allow them okay. to make the money that okay. they make that's okay. that's who gotta really makes a finish. difference you've got to let me finish you gave me okay. eight seconds there uh that does happen uh if i could just please finish my thought i will start over once again you said that the reason why these p- players and these minorities are kneeling because it's against the flag and you put words in their mouth I just told you why the players are kneeling, not my opinion, words out of their own mouth. So that's number one. I'll take what they say over why you think they're doing it. That's number one. Okay. Number two, and this is very, very important here. Okay. What you're saying is not correct when you say the majority of people are against what they're doing. And by the way, the men and women in uniform that have lost their lives are exactly giving uh, the freedom of speech and the reason why why these players can do what they are doing. That is very important to note that. Let's take the phone calls now at 257-5396. Why don't we start with Chuck? Chuck, you're first up on the Vegas take. What's going on? Hey, what's up, Chuck? Hey, guys. I'm a veteran. I uh, did all that. And for me, I'm fine with people having an opinion and having a protest and all that other kind of stuff. But in my, for me personally... This is the the one thing that I cannot condone because none of these people have ever served in the military and they have the rights that the military has provided, and I get that. And I think a lot of these guys are doing it out of peer pressure. I saw a guy the other day, he had a, a, a shirt with an American flag on it, and it said, I don't kneel. And when he's walking by, a black guy called him a racist. Okay, so that's, that, that's absolutely disgusting and embarrassing. Okay, so uh, that dis- is disgusting. Okay, so this as well. I don't, uh, I don't agree with that cer- uh, certain the, circumstance. But just because one person does that I doesn't mean everybody I will do it. And you, you know, you know what's interesting, Chuck, is all that all these people that are that are, I think all these people, like for me, I, I can't watch the sports, man, and I've and I, I've lived for sports my whole life. I can't do it anymore. Okay, and well, I that's think, what I hear. I believe that, like all these. All these closet Trump supporters are the same as me. Is they're not going to watch? You're right, and, and, and we're when seeing it. We're seeing it already. Okay. Well, I'm not going to make and an you know, assessment a big, two days a big into issue, this season. A big issue is that you, you could be in the military for we'll call it ten years and make a hundred thousand bucks a year based on your rank. A lot of these athletes. I mean, the average NBA salary is almost four million dollars. That's that, that, Brian. Completely academic. No, Brian, to what we're talking listen, about. Listen. Listen. Let me finish my statement. No, it, that that's. That's a forty-year career in the military. What does that have one, to do? One, a very, a very what does a, NBA salary. Brian, let me finish my statement. What does the Don't salary have me. to do with it? Go ahead. No, no, I can't. 
Go ahead. No, I can't. Don't be a baby. You're, you're, Tell me what Brian, you're, you're the about. one being a baby. You just interrupted me twice. About? Okay, well, get used to it. You've interrupted me 30 times today, but go ahead, JD. I'm not I don't want to make it 30 personal. times today, Okay, Brian. maybe 28 no. times. Well, go just because just you don't my understand, stats, just because you don't my, understand my, what I'm saying right. here. I don't because, understand. Because, no, you no. speak for black people. Okay, JD, go ahead. I'm not speaking go for ahead, black JD, people, Brian. Go ahead, JD, who speaks for the NBA and all black people. Go ahead, JD. I'm not Tell me why the black people are kneeling. Go ahead. I'm not talking this. I'm not talking about the players. You're not even listening to me, Brian. You did. You did a second ago. You just said that. I'm not talking about the players. I know why the black people are kneeling. It's against the flag. You did say that. Saying, I'm saying the players make in one year what someone who joins the military at a high level makes over the course of what their career. That, so they should and, and, kneel because they make a lot of money? What? What did you? What? Nothing. All right, go. Wait, just, what? just talk. What? Just talk. What? Yeah, just talk. Two five seven five three nine six is the number to call. Seven zero two two five seven five three nine. Why are you so angry? Well, go ahead. Finish. No, no, finish go. your opinion. Just Brian, talk. Okay, so you're bringing up money. You're bringing up an you're NBA not, salary. You're not letting well, me finish what I have to okay, say okay, because well, you don't understand it. Okay, you're right. And I'm, I don't trying to, and I'm trying to explain why the fan has a problem with what's going on and why ratings are low and they're going to get worse. What does that have to do with the salary that you brought up? That's what I keep asking. Because you. if you're in the military, Brian, and you're, you're, you spend a 40-year career in the military and you make $100,000 a year, you make over the course of your entire career, with all the risks that come along with the military, what an NBA player makes in one season. So what does that mean? That because a, 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 somebody makes more money people, than someone in the military, pe- they shouldn't be able to speak their mind? People nationwide think that NBA players and athletes right now are very, very unappreciative of what the United States has given them between, as, as far as a platform and a way of life. With, with the amount of money that they make compared to the average person who so, right now, who in a lot of cases, is out of work who does or who, or who may have their business shut down during this pandemic. So there's, is, there's, there's a lot of reasons right so now. So if you have why, money, you can't, you can't have a cause? You can't, you can't Brian, have I an issue? I, I don't understand. I didn't say that. So I, then what I, are you I didn't saying? say that you can't have an issue. What I'm saying is a lot of people have a huge issue with you having an issue under those circumstances, and I'm explaining to you as, as to why that is. And there are people in this country that are also racist. What's your point? The, the mo- amount of money that an NBA player makes has nothing to do with freedom of speech. The amount of money that somebody makes has nothing to do with with what they believe is a worthy cause. You're correlating it to the amount of money they make. So if they made $20,000 a year, you'd be okay with them kneeling. But since somebody might make $200 million over the course of five years, they don't have the right to take a knee. That makes absolutely no sense. No, what I'm saying is someone who works every single day and only makes sixty dollars to $80,000 or $100,000 a year, or even $40,000 a year, and they see someone else who in their opinion, just plays basketball and makes $4 million a year to $20 million a year, which is more money than they will ever dream to make in their entire so life. What? And they're complaining about oppression. They don't buy it. See, and that's what's happening right now nationwide, Brian. First of all, first of all. And I don't, I don't, I, I get, I get you don't understand that. Okay. I, that's fine. You're, right. you're more than entitled right. not okay. to understand first that. First of all, it's not about not understanding but, but, anything. No, but, but I understand that's, quite well but what that's, your opinion But that's is. what's taking place okay. on a national level. Mm-hmm. Okay. First, so first of all, okay. The amount of money a player makes has nothing to do with if they're going to take a knee. And by the way, they're not saying that they've necessarily oppressed. Oh, by the way, just because a black person makes them out a lot of money doesn't mean that they're not the victim of racism either. Let me just speak to that for a moment. As we know by uh, one of the Republicans as a congressman, Scott, who said he's been pulled over 10 times in the last year. There is a very successful African-American. Just because you could be... Hold yeah, on, I'm let not, me finish. I'm not, if I doubting, just finish. I'm not suggesting that there's finish. not individual okay, so racism okay because right? there is. It's okay for you to interrupt. Okay. And you'll, If I interrupt, you have a temper tantrum. But if you interrupt me, it's no problem. So... Just because you make $200 million a year, let's just say hypothetically, that does not mean that you cannot be the victim of racism. You simply don't understand that, and you don't understand what racism is. You've never experienced it. Of course it. I understand okay, what racism well, I, is, Okay, Brian. so Come you on. think just because— the, I have. I've, think, ex- I've experienced my own racism myself. Okay, Absolutely, I, I'm, I'm sure you're a huge victim uh, well, just, because just you're white. Just because I'm white? No, I'm sure and you have that, that, that means I have and never I'm been I'm sure you've been pulled over by the police okay. for no reason because you're white. I'm sure that happens to you all the time. But I will make my case once again, then we have full phone lines that I want to get to. Just because you're a black person— in America, like J.D. says, making an enormous amount of money does not mean that you cannot be the victim of racism. I believe that to be a very ignorant opinion, and you're wearing the goggles. You don't see and what's going on in society. I never said that either. Well, you're saying I because never, they make never, a lot of money. I never once said that. You're saying, I, I said people think that they are unappreciated because well, Ameri- be America, America has given them the platform that okay, they have and all, the salary that they have. First of the all, the country, capitalist America, has given, all, has given them what they have. First of all, can it be possible? And then that, you have a lot of people right now who, who are either unemployed, they, they've lost their, they've lost their, their businesses 
mm-hmm. or they could only which has nothing to do with this they could only dream or they could only dream to make that much which has absolutely well, no, nothing yeah, but, to do with black again, lives like, matter like for example what happened with James Harden James Harden wore a mask it was a, it was accidentally a blue lives matter mask he was given he was given a ton of flack on it from on Twitter for three for almost two days straight finally he comes out and says I did not know what this mask meant I just thought it was cool so now you have people that are making a lot of money who want to defund the police and take those who are not making much again, money not to take the protection away no that is that again, is very true. A lot of true. Black Lives Matter is all about defunding the police, okay, Brian. Well, if you want no, it, is. Dip, it, it just is. We're not talk, it's, it's all about we're disrupting about and sports. also disrupting You're your nuclear place, family. Man. No, I'm You're not. You're absolutely all over the place. I don't even know where to begin. Okay. You are all over the place. Uh, You're the one who We're talking up. about sports and politics one, integrated. The, okay, if I and I'm finish. saying a lot of America okay, right now is okay. very, very angry with what's going on. A lot. And in the right... I mean, if okay. it was if, if it wasn't a lot, Brian. A after lot. after five months, a sport like mm-hmm. a sport like the the National Basketball mm-hmm. Association, the NBA mm-hmm. basketball, would have done a lot better than three point four okay. million views. Tucker mm-hmm. Carlson show does four point seven million mm-hmm. viewers every yep. single night. Well, that's July, the supremacist. The July, while July, that's for, good. The Fox in July had their highest mm-hmm. ratings ever sure. in the history. I get where you're going with this. I'm, I'm just saying pe- no, people, it. people it. have the opportunity to watch sports. I, listen, They're just choosing not to because they don't support right I get now. it. Let's praise a white supremacist and Tucker I did, Carlson. I did not Let's go after all a, the black people I did not people praise a white supremacist. I, I stated he is a, a white fact. supremacist. I stated a fact. And I, so am I. Tucker Carlson is a white supremacist. If you want to praise him, you go right ahead, man. You go right no, ahead. what I said but I'm not is that attack every, every single night Tucker Carlson's show again. does about 40% more viewership than the first day, opening day of the National Basketball Association with the Lakers and the Nothing Clippers to do with taking LeBron a name. James. Nothing to do with what we're talking about. I don't care about Tucker Carlson's ratings. I don't care how much money an African American makes. An African American could make five hundred million dollars a year. And by the way, uh, just, again, it's not uh, just, you're going to interrupt me again for the for the, like the sixth time in ten seconds. Uh, I'll say it again. I don't care if an African. By the way, the idea that America gave it to them is also a joke. Many of these players, these professional athletes, had to work their asses off to get to where I didn't they are. Say that. Okay. Well, I'm saying it. No. Okay. I'm, I, if I'm I can saying, finish I'm my saying thought, America interrupt has... me for a seventh time. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I can't get a word in with you, man. I can't get a word. I'm just trying to make form my own opinion here and tell you that the idea that America gave them something is ridiculous. Many of these African Americans in professional sports had to work their asses off to get to where they were at. They, many of them, college scholarships, they went through college, played sports, continued to work their asses off, and continue to this very day. And the notion that just because some of them might be making $4 million a year and somebody who served this country makes $40,000 a year, so for that point, maybe they shouldn't take a knee is absurd. All right, here's what we got to do. We've, I know we have full phone lines. I know we have a lot of people that have been waiting on hold. I promise you, we've had a good debate. We will take a break, and when we come back, uh, we will get to all your calls. I know i got a lot of people waiting on hold, so I promise to you, I will get to all of you on the other side of the break. Do you agree with J.D.? Do you think that, uh, you know, if these people making all this money, they shouldn't take a knee? I didn't say or, that either. Well, Brian, what I said is that a lot of Americans nationwide think that those who are making that much money are very appreciative okay. of, of the United States as a whole right. that has allowed them to be in that position, right, well, to have the platform and the money and the life that they have. If you want to show me that statistic in that poll, I'll, I'm, I'm all open ears, but look, we got to take mean, a look break. Look at the viewership.